Hi friends, thanks so much for coming back to craft with me today and welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name's Alyssa and I just wanted to share this mini junk journal that I created using this paper pad from Graphic 45. And I found this at a thrift store actually for just a few bucks and it was unused. So all the paper was still in here. So of course I had to pick it up. I never find paper pads at the thrift store. So I was really excited to find this one and I was inspired to create just a little mini junk journal out of it. So this one here measures four and a half by six inches. And I actually made it out of an envelope just like one of these clasp envelopes here. And this is a smaller one. This one is a six by nine envelope. So I also found these at the thrift store. And so I'll just quickly flip through this one and then I'll kind of take you through my process of creating another one afterwards. So here's my cover. I just added some trim on the side here. I did a very tiny dangle with a little key and a heart bead because one of the themes throughout this journal is the key to my heart. So I thought that was perfect for a little dangle there. And then there's the back. I love this paper. This reminds me of Gone with the Wind for some reason with Scarlett O'Hara and Rhett Butler. I love that movie. Anyway, so this is tied shut just with some trim here. So let's open this up. And you can see that I did keep the envelope showing through on this side because I wanted to obviously keep that as a little side pocket. So I just did a little bit of collaging over here and I have fall in love with as many things as possible. And then my pocket here, I've just got some writing paper. And then I've got this little journaling card. So these images are from my little scrapbook paper pad from Timu. This is also from Timu. This came in like a big paper pack as well, or a notepad or something like that. And then over here, I have paper clipped just some little scraps from the paper pad. And then this is also from Timu. It's just a little tag and it came in like a whole notepad as well of just these little tag sheets. So I have those paper clipped over here. I've got a postcard on this side, some writing paper and just a little scrap that I glued to the side. Little heart doily label, coffee dyed writing paper. I've just paper clipped this little envelope onto this side. It is empty, I didn't put anything in there. And then over here, I just have a little belly band, some leftover scrap paper from the same paper pad. This here is actually a greeting card. And I think I've shown it before in a different video of mine, but I also got this at the thrift store and it's on this nice, soft, like handmade paper. So I really love the musical sheet on the front and then you can write on the back. I thought a photo would go nice here and this could just be like a little label or a description of your photo. I've got a little doily tuck spot over here. So I have a postcard and just a little tag that I made from the leftover scraps. And you can flip that open and write inside. Another tuck spot over here with something that you could turn into a journaling card. Here is the paper that has the key to my heart. So I love all of the different keys 
and I just love that phrase. So I have a pocket over here. Got a handsome fella over there. <laughs> some musical sheets, and then I have a little glassine envelope at the bottom here. So I just stuck this little scrap and a vellum postcard in there. I thought this was perfect to put inside of this journal. I've paper clipped some writing paper and then just another extra little scrap. This is all glued on as a sort of embellishment. <laughs> and then I have two pockets over here. So I just have a little tag, just an extra little scrap. And then I have another tag and then just one of these little envelopes. Over here, I've got a tiny envelope and there is a small little card on the inside as well. I kind of just inked everything up. This I just glued down for decoration. You could put another little cluster on top of it or just leave it. I've got a pocket here with a postcard and then this little stamp is from the paper pad. So I just put it on the postcard. And then here's that greeting card again. So it has a few pages here that you can also journal on. And I've paper clipped some extra scraps here and then a guest check. And that goes on to the back side as well. And then I have these other little stamps paper clipped to this side too. I've got a side pocket here. So just some more little extra scraps, a postcard. Here's the key to my heart at the bottom here. Little cluster over there. I've got a pocket here and I'm not gonna take these all out, but they're pretty much just little scraps that you can journal on and write on. And here's the back. So there's a little side pocket over here and I just stuck a little journaling card in there. And that's it for this little mini junk journal. So now I'm going to create an ocean themed one actually. So I'm going to just show you my process on that. I did kind of already start it and then I was like, well, maybe I should film it so that I can share it with you guys. So here is what I have set up already for my ocean themed one. So this is going to be my cover here. And you can see that I did ink up around the edges of this paper and this one as well, just a little bit with some dark blue. And then I stamped let the sea set you free right over here. And I love this whale. So that's going to be my cover. And then this piece is gonna be for the back. I just didn't pick anything to put on the back quite yet. So again, here's my little envelope and I just folded it in half. You could use really any size envelope that you have to create a little journal like this. So there's that. And then I did pick all the papers already for my signatures. So here's that little greeting card again. I 
love coffee dyed or tea dyed paper. I do these all myself. So I just have some writing paper and plain paper. And then let's see, all of these papers. So these came from eight and a half by 11 inch papers that I just cut in half. So it looked like this and then I just cut them in half so they fit inside of my journal. And those were all free samples that I got. Cause sometimes if you Google like free paper samples or things like that, there are different companies or places that will send you free samples. So I can't remember exactly where I got these from. If I do, I will try to link it below, but um, I've had these in my stash forever, so I figured I would just use them up in this journal. And then all of these papers are from a Michaels paper pad. Let me go grab it. So it's just this Calming Coastal paper pad by Recollections, which I purchased at Michaels. And I'm sure you guys have seen this one in your stores as well. And then with these ones from Michaels, I pretty much just cut whatever height I wanted, but I left the whole 12 inch width. So I just divided it up into three sections. And so one side could be like a double-sided sheet or it can have a pocket at the top there. So that's just what I did with those papers. And so I'm just gonna put those aside for now and kind of just work on my cover. So I've already done all of this stuff off camera. And let's see, let me pick a paper for my back cover. And I do have another Timu scrapbook paper pad with a bunch of sea themed papers, so. Let's see what I want for the back. Ooh, maybe this one, because it says farewell. And I think that's cute for the back page or the back cover. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna also use the same ink to ink up around there. I'm pretty sure I just used this like navy blue ink spot that I received in Happy Mail. And so I'm just gonna use my trusty little makeup sponge here. <laughs> you guys have seen me use that before. All right, so I just wanna slightly ink it up. I don't like to go too crazy with it. And I'll do the same for this one. It's lawn mowing season, you guys, so <laughs> I'm sorry if you can hear people out in their yards mowing their lawns, but just that time of the year. Now I'm just gonna glue this one onto my background paper. Now I've got ink all over my hands too. Let me just keep adding more glue. Okay. And I'll just place this here. Okay, so my covers are all set. Now, I think I wanna get a ribbon again for an enclosure or some trim. 
I really like this ribbon here. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this and cut two pieces of that that are roughly the same length. I'm just gonna pop some glue right in the middle here where the ribbon's gonna go. And then I will put this piece down here. And then I'll take my tape and I'll just put that over my ribbon for extra. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, you guys know what I mean. Just so it will hold it down even more. <laughs> okay, and then I'll turn this to the back and do the same thing. It is loud today. I'm not gonna put the tape like all the way to the edge, obviously, in case some of that shows through. And now I can just glue on my covers. So let's do that. So I've already picked out my pages, so I'm just gonna put them in an order that I like. And I'll start with, this page definitely needs to be like the intro page. I love that lighthouse. I love anything that has to do with the ocean. I think I've mentioned that before in my videos too. So mermaids, sea creatures, lighthouses. I'm obsessed with all of it. <laughs> then I'm gonna just binder clip this all together. So I'm gonna just put this whole signature into my book or my journal and then poke my three holes. So I'm gonna start in the middle and I just eyeball this and poke that through. And I'll go to the top. And then I'll do one at the bottom here. Like this. I'm actually gonna clip the whole signature and the book together. Then I can sew my thread through. All right. I'm just going to make sure that everything looks good in the back and the front and the outside. Then I can just tie this right up. I 
want to do a little charm here as well, like how I did with my first one that I showed you guys. There is like very little room, so I'm just going to try and see if it works. So I'm just going to take my awl and poke another little hole just at the top. I know you can't see this, but I can't see it either. So <laughs> let me just poke a little hole right down the spine, just near the top. And then I'll try to show you. All right, so I just made a little hole here, pretty much right on the spine. And I will attempt to put a little jump ring through that little hole. So I just have this tiny little gold one and I'm gonna just stick it through maybe and then I'll just close it up. I guess I should have done this part first but So I do have a few different charms here. Also in my stash, I've had this forever, just a little mermaid tail. So I think I'm just going to complete my little charm off camera and then I will show you the finished result. All right, I decided not to use the mermaid tail on the outside dangle. I may use it on something else inside of this journal, but I just went with a very simple, small little charm dangle here. So I've got the glittery starfish, the glittery shell, and then this was so beautiful. I know like I'm mostly doing a blue theme, but I just loved this pink seashell and just the whole charm is so cute. So I had to include that. So I'm just gonna clip it on now to my little ring here. And that's gonna be the dangle. I may add some other things or change it up, but at least for now, there's the cute little dangle for this mini junk journal. So I think I'll just end the video here. Um, I could do a final flip through on this once I'm almost done with it or mostly done with it, but I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing my process and I just wanna thank you so much for all of your support and kind comments throughout my whole time here on YouTube. I really, really appreciate them and all of you are just so, so special. Don't ever forget that. <laughs> so I hope that you guys are having a great day or night and I will see you all in my next video. Happy crafting and huge hugs to all of you too.